So today's event is the Dog Days of Summer. And before you turn this off because it's about dogs and not chickens, <laughs> you should know that I am here with Scratch and Peck Feeds, who I am an ambassador for. I just really love their feed and I've been an ambassador and an influencer for them for a few years now. So I'm here representing them and I'm talking to a lot of people about their chickens because if you don't know, chickens are the new dog. <laughs> A lot of people with dogs have chickens, so that's why we're here today. And I am going to go chat with the Whatcom Humane Society. This is their event. They do a lot of work for all kinds of animals, farm animals, chickens, ducks, goats, you name it. And I do volunteer for them, and I have taught classes for them before. So the Whatcom Humane Society also has a wildlife rehabilitation center where they take in all kinds of animals from owls to sea lions to skunks even. <laughs> and it's just an awesome place. I'm so proud of the work that they're doing there. Okay, I know this is a chicken channel, but there's dogs playing with bubbles. <laughs> But if you'll notice, it just says animal tincture, so like, can I use this for my chickens? Let's find out. Hi guys. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right, so tell me who you are. My name is Tim Credit. This is my partner, Ted Strand. Hello. Hello. We are Vigor Naturals CBD products. We've got products for pets and human use. So could I use CBD oil on chickens? You sure can. Every animal that's got a spine has the same endocannabinoid receptor system in our bodies, whether they be humans, snakes, or chickens. So CBD is safe for any animal and you cannot overdose on it. So you could like waste it. but You, you can. You can take too much to where it will no longer uh, be effective, yeah, be effective in the body. It, you can't get wasted. On it. Very exactly. much so. <laughs> there are no psychoactive Ooh, effects. That's a good tagline. <laughs> Marketing collateral. I'm excited to be able to kind of look into this and we're going to talk more. And we'll help you. You betcha yeah. we can make it happen for you. That would definitely uh, definitely work to calm down the anxious chicken or rooster. Yes. Especially when a coyote's around. I, I know everybody out there knows that if you have a predator attack, chickens can, they can go into like, a, they can go into shock mm -hmm. for sure. And the shock itself can kill them. I imagine CBD would be good, you know, indicated for something like that. Yep. Possibly. I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn more. I'm going to talk to these guys more. And I may, I may, I may have a video in the future. You bet. You and a product know. line. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe. So we have a we have one of our medium age chickens and she's been laying. Yeah. It's a little bit late, I'm sure. She hasn't moved for like five days. I you know what you know what she wants? She wants to be a chicken mama. Yes yeah, she does. <laughs> Definitely wants to be a chicken mama. Okay. But we want to have babies though. So we want her to go through the process. Okay. Well, so, you know what? She's don't worry because she's gonna come off of her her nest and she's gonna eat. She's gonna do it when you're not around. Right. So just yeah. So, so okay. Don't worry too much about that. Make sure that she has food and water, and she's gonna be just fine. Yeah. You're gonna be a chicken grandpa. Well, you know why not? <laughs> This is Freckles and she's a, she's a little bit nervous, which is okay. I almost adopted Freckles. Uh, Freckles lived in like the woods for like a month and she was so skinny when I first met her and she was terrified and now she's at dog days and she's doing so good and she has the best dog mommy and I'm so happy right now. My name is Bobby Ruth Langley. And That's a great name. Thank you very much. And I'm the owner of Radiant Heart Aftercare for Pets. And 
What we are is we're a pet-only funeral home and on-site cremation service in Bellingham, Washington. We have a flame crematorium, but we now also offer eco-friendly water cremation. So I, I, I don't know anything about this. Can you tell me what that is? So water cremation reduces the soft tissue using alkaline hydrolysis. And it's this very slow, gentle, 20-hour process that breaks down the soft tissue at the molecular level and just leaves bone. So it's just really wonderful. Okay, so I had one question. Um, I recently had a chicken die. She was 11 years old. Oh, wow. Is that old yeah. for a chicken? That's very old wow. for a chicken, yeah. Um, and what was her name? Her name was Bubble Butt. Oh. <laughs> when I got her, she didn't have any feathers on her butt. And she looked like a little baboon. <laughs> She was traditionally cremated. I did take, I don't have every chicken that dies cremated, but she, she, she really, was special. she was special. I just saw like some jewelry and stuff that you have there. So can we check that yeah, out? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Okay, I have a choice to make. I'm gonna get more information and maybe I'm going to get a bubble butt. Memorial! <laughs> Memorial! You know, she was special. The president of Chicklandia! Yes, that's Did why I was like, yes, the blue one. Did you just win a hat? He did yeah. his hat! Yes. Second Wait. hat! <laughs> okay, so this is my friend Lee. Uh, I have known her for a really long time. Oh, yeah. She's a former, a recovering crazy <laughs> chicken lady. No more, no more chickens for you, huh? No, my chickens got old. They lived to be 10. And they had a wonderful one. They did. Very spoiled. And now she's got these two very spoiled Here, doggies. Is this Mango? It's Mango. So Mango is on Facebook. Yep. She's nine today. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mango. She just said she's probably getting chickens again. <laughs> so there's hope. The little Prince of Chickenlandia is here. And there he goes. Okay, I am back at my car. It was a long day, but it was a lot of fun. And I'm so glad I came out, but I'm so happy to be going home to my chickens. And look at how strong I am. This is a this is a 20 pound bag of feed. Oh no, I have spinach all up in my teeth. Okay, this is a safe spot. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye, friend. <laughs>